As a continued part of how to set up your Twitch and optimize it for streaming, we're gonna talk a little bit more about, what is it now? How to make a video player banner, or as some know it, as an offline screen. All right, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. And this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you wanna learn more about live streaming online, be it on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, DLive, Mixer, and beyond, make sure that you click that subscribe button and turn that bell notification to on so you don't miss a single video. This is the second part in a multi-part series on how to optimize your Twitch channel for streaming because you don't want to just leave it blank. Now, uh, in the previous video, we talked about how to set up your profile pic, aka your avatar for Twitch, and actually we'll leave a link inside the description down below. But today, we're gonna to be talking about the video player banner. Am I yes. saying that right? Yes, video player banner, or as most of us old school Twitchers know it as, the offline screen or the offline banner. This is the banner that's going to show when you aren't streaming live. It's going to be right on where your video would usually be shown. Let's go right to it. Okay, in order to do the Twitch video player banner, we're gonna go ahead and use the software called GIMP. It's a free software you can download over gimp.org slash download. We're gonna double click. This is good for PC and Mac. We've used this in previous uh, videos and we're actually gonna leave some links down in the description below that you can see some other things inside this specific series. So um, this is much like the one where we covered the Twitch thumbnails for video on demand. We're gonna have the same size. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080. We also wanna make sure that the megabytes aren't too large. So you don't wanna have gigantic images in this. So we're gonna start out hitting Control N for new. It's already set at 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we're gonna hit OK. It's gonna fill it out with the background color, so this is not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fill it with the foreground with the white color. We're gonna hit Control and Comma. All right, the next thing is, let's go into Image. We're gonna go down to Guides, New Guide by Percent. We're gonna have a horizontal. All right, and the next one, we're gonna go in Image, Guides, New Guide, and we're gonna hit it vertical. This is gonna kinda give us a, a center that we can kinda work around. Because this is what's gonna be put on your video player when you're not there. So this is gonna be a good opportunity to maybe tell some people that might be visiting your channel what you're all about. So um, we've got this video all, uh, the video player banner all set up here. Let's just go ahead and dress it up with some of the images. So the one thing I wanna make sure I have is some of the assets that I have here. So I'm just gonna drop in pictures of myself. Now if you have some like emotes that you use, you can always drop those emotes in there. All right, uh, let's go ahead, I'm gonna hit Control, and we're just gonna scroll out here with my mouse scroll wheel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller, I'm gonna scale. All right, we're just gonna kinda move this here. Now, I might change the image saturation here in just a second. Now, the next thing is, let's go and look for another image here. I'm gonna go ahead and toss my brother in. Stick with this image, I'm gonna drag and drop it in. All right, kind of go to the same size. We're gonna shoot for 2747. All right, excellent. We're gonna go ahead and change this. 2747, scale, excellent. Let's go ahead and drag it on over and see if I'm about the same size. Okay, not too bad. He's a little zoomed in. We're gonna make him just a bit smaller. Excellent, there we go. Now let's get these layers just right. What I'm gonna do is let's put him right here Hey, look at this, we can put it right there, that's pretty funny. Um, maybe not that, let's do this. We'll put him down one layer. Nice. All right, moving him on over, not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna have things kind of centered here. So I could probably just say move myself here or there. Um, I would like to flip the image, but I think this is gonna probably be just fine. So. If you've got a logo, an emote, uh, any kind of things that you might have had done through say Fiverr or have used previously, now's the time to use it. So for us, we actually have the live streaming tech logo. Okay, so now I've got the logo, we're gonna drag and drop it in there. It's so important that if you're using something that you get a nice good size on it so you're not having to make it larger and it looks pixelated. 
So this is pretty large. We can all agree that's gigantic. I might actually want to make it just a little bit smaller. So we're going to use the scale tool. And we're just going to scale it a little bit. Not bad. All right. Now, the next thing is um, we can probably add in some type of value proposition. So whatever it might be. So let's say that you're a Fortnite streamer or you're doing ghost recon or maybe you're doing IRL or a podcast of some sort. Ours is going to be closer to like a podcast style format when we finally do break ground here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a text box. We're going to drag it on down there and I'm just going to put in my value proposition. So you can see already it's going white. So I'm going to need to highlight this by pressing control A. We're going to go over and hit black so that way it sticks out. We can change the coloring later. Now, if you want to change your font, you can hit the drop down here and choose that font accordingly. Uh, I want to use another type. It's actually called Chunk 5. We've used it on some of our videos previously. Okay. So now we've got the Chunk 5 already set, but that's kind of a large text. I want something small. There we go. That's a little smaller. I might have to go a bit smaller than that. 50. All right. Next thing is hit the drop down, hit dynamic because it's going to fit to the text. Learn how to live stream online, including. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and just put that simple, easy. I'm going to click and drag this on over just a little bit. We might do something a little more to kind of dress it up. But for right now, it's looking pretty good. Um, all right, let's get a background here, something that is related to our brand. I'm going to go ahead and select this background, and we're just going to click and drop it on in. All right, normally you can just click and drag and move it down, but my software doesn't allow me to do that while I'm recording, so we're just going to go down. Okay, so now we got that. Good stuff. Now, normally there's these little brackets that we have here. So we're kind of missing out on that. It looks a little different than usual. So I'm going to see about just let's go ahead and grab a different image. There we go. We're going to click and drag that in there. Ah, there we go. See, now that looks a little bit more framed. Now, this is stuff that I had made previously. Um, Any time that you need any kind of images, by the way, if you find yourself like, ah, I don't know, really know what to do, Dale, make sure you head over. We actually have a free image resources guide at livestreamingtech.site slash guide. We've got that down in the description below. And also, if you need help in getting some of these specs for Twitch, you're going to head over to livestreamingtech.site slash Twitch setup. And that's actually the Twitch help page. So uh, let's keep moving forward. I'm going to grab the square tool. Let's make this text pop a little bit. And I'm gonna just gonna grab it right here, and we're gonna just put a little bit of a background on it. Right, we got it highlighted. I'm gonna add a transparent layer. We're gonna hit OK. Now, with the foreground background colors, if you want to change out the color, all you got to do is select it, and you can choose your color. For me, I'm gonna keep it white because it just looks right. Control, comma, fills that with the white color. Now, while it's still selected and highlighted, I'm gonna select the next layer, get a transparent layer. We're gonna hit OK. I'm going to go over to Select, Grow. Eight looks good. Eight pixels. Awesome. Now I'm going to do this with a black. Let's go ahead and we're going to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to select the layer below it. We're going to hit Filters. Mm, you know what? We're not going to do that one just yet. Control Shift A will deselect it. We're going to shut off these two layers. And I'm going to just offset it just slightly. We're going to click on it with the move tool and then I'm going to take my arrow keys and I'm going to move to the right just a little bit and down just a little bit. All right. Now we're going to turn it on. You're going to see it has a little bit of like a makes it pop just a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead. And let's duplicate that. Feel free to play around with some of these tools. You'll find some interesting, you know, different type of combinations. I like Gaussian blur. We're going to kick that Gaussian blur up to about 15. Looks good. It was enough to kind of get it set out. All right. And we're just going to double that layer. I'm going to merge it down. Good stuff. So let's just zoom out and see how that looks. Looking all right. So far, so good. I'm going to probably change the saturation of how we look. But um, in if you have any type of stream times, here's probably a good place to put it. So let's just say, for instance, 
uh, we end up streaming every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Daytime. All right, we're going to select all, Control A, and we're going to make this just a little bit smaller than the other one. We're going to hit 35. We're going to go to Tool Options. We're going to hit Dynamic. Awesome. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Excellent. Now I'm not going to give a box on this one. We're going to just go a little bit different on this one. I'm going to right click on it, highlight alpha to selection. Let's make it grow just a little bit. Not much, just, just a little. Two is good. All right, awesome. Let's put a transparent layer right below it. We're going to hit OK. And I'm going to fill it, control period, with black. Control shift A, you'll see it kind of outlined it, not too bad. Remember that little trick that we just did? where we had the, the shadow kind of pop off it. So I'm going to shut off this layer. I'm going to select the layer below it. We're going to duplicate it, shut off that layer. And now let's just click. And we're going to just tap it over a couple of times. You know what? We're going to go buck wild. We'll do it that way. There we go. Turn it on, turn it on. Boom. So see how that makes it pop just a little bit more. Now we're just going to grab that layer just below it. We're going to duplicate it again. Now we're just gonna select that layer just right below it. So here's the really cool thing. We're gonna shut off all that. Boom, boom, all right. This is the layer we wanna select. Repeat Gaussian Blur. It's made it blur just a little bit. Let's duplicate it just to kind of thicken it up. We're gonna right click. We're gonna merge down. Turn those layers back on. And you see it pops a little more. Not bad. Now, in the event that you're not doing Mondays at, say, 12 p.m., you know, just put in your times, or if you don't want to get set to any specific time. Now, um, here's a really, really cool little trick here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to right-click on the logo, and again, we're just going to go ahead and choose a transparent layer. Control period. It'll fill it with black. We're going to deselect. Now I'm just going to shut that off, and I'm just going to move it over here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, not bad. It's kind of probably in the wrong way, so let's go ahead. We're going to undo it. Control Z will undo. All right, now we've undo, done, undid it. We move this over to the same direction as the other one, so that way it's looking natural. Awesome, I like that. Again, we're going to duplicate that layer. Let's just blur it. Excellent, that's probably the perfect amount. Now you remember how I said I would just change a little bit of the saturation of how we looked. So let's go ahead, we're gonna select me on the top. I'm gonna to go into colors, hue and saturation. A little goes a long way. You're gonna move it up just a little bit. So I usually find about 20 to be pretty good. Maybe even 30 will be all right. I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, you see I kind of look like I get a little bit of a spray tan on. It's not too bad. We don't wanna to go too nuts on this. So let's kick it back about 25. Excellent. Okay. And now we're going to just do a little bit of contrast on this. So that way it just makes the picture look that much better. We're going to go contrast. Oh, you can see that's too much. Way too much. Why don't we just shoot for like just 10? There. Just gave just a little bit there. We're going to hit OK. Excellent. Now we're going to do the same thing for my brother here. We're going to go colors, hue and saturation. I believe we did it at about 20. He looks like he needs a little bit more sun. Excellent. We're going to hit OK. Go to Colors, Brightness and Contrast. We're just going to kick up that contrast just a little bit. We might need a little more contrast. Ooh, that might be too much. There we go. Hit OK. Excellent. Now, we're going to right click on him, Alpha to Selection. Go down, get a transparent layer. We're going to fill the background with Control, period. I'm going to highlight myself, Alpha to Selection. Again, go down to that layer. We're going to give that shadow there. Control, period. Control, Shift, A will deselect. And we're going to go over. We're going to use that little Gaussian blur again, just enough to give us a little bit of a shadow. And we're just going to put it behind us. That way, it looks like we're just standing out from the background. Excellent. I'm going to duplicate that layer. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks so much better. We're going to go ahead and merge down. All right, before we go any further, okay, we want to make sure that we have this document saved. We're gonna hit Control S, Twitch, Video, Player, 
banner template that way we can come back and use it some other time and we're actually going to put a link down in the description below where you can get this particular template that we have here and you can play around with it it has the guides put in there for you so um, here we go we're going to hit ok on this one I want to put it in the right document or in the right files here we go excellent we're hit save now this is just for GIMP we're going to head and save this as PNG so we can upload this over onto Twitch control shift E all right, and now we're gonna go ahead and just name this one what we want it. Live Streaming Tech Twitch Player Banner. All right, and let's go ahead and delete that. We're gonna export it. Now leave all the settings as is or match them up like we have them here. We're gonna hit export. And now this is ready for an upload. Hey, uh, by the way, um, did you catch my last video where we talked about how to do the Twitch avatar? It's really probably one of the most important things because you're going to probably be watching other people's channels and if you don't have an avatar and you just have like the generic looking ones, that just doesn't look good. And you know what? Just let's just go over here. You're going to go over. I'm going to show you how simple it is. It's even easier than what I just showed you now. And in the event that you want to just be a rebel and go over, check out this video, we're talking about how to make thumbnails for your Twitch video on demand. Pick one of those. Surprise me. I'll see you in either of them.